OK. Sorry for that. As you can see, equal sum A2, which is cell A2. It will get the value from A2. And add the sum of B2 to get sum for C, C2. Now, as we were going along, there are other formulas, but we won't be covering those. There is also get data, which allows you to get your information from either another person's spreadsheet, their CV, CSV file, from a database like MS SQL, or from online services and from other types of sources. Review is spelling the source. It is for just checking adjectives or similar words. Translate is just for translating your English to any other language that you have installed onto your computer. View is just for looking at how you want to look at the page, the sheet. Help is for asking for help. If you want to contact the people who made Microsoft Excel, you can. There's show training, which would be quick start, rows, columns, cells, formulas, and functions, tables and charts. Although for tables and charts, you would have to go to insert and manually put in information from your Excel spreadsheet to make the chart. For the bottom aspect of the UI, you can see that there's sheet. If you create a new sheet, you just have to click press it. Now, if you want to protect your sheet, you just right click it, protect sheet. Of course, once you put a password to protect the sheet, that'll be the password that you're using. Another aspect of this is that once you apply the password, you can give permissions to the users, such as allow all users to select locked cells, select unlocked cells, insert rows, insert columns, insert hyperlinks, so on and so forth. If you want to delete the sheet, you can always just delete it. Now let's say we let's just mess around and do just write test. We could just write control Z, press control Z to undo, control Y to redo it. Hmm. Thus, this is the end of the lecture for today. Thank you for coming.